Hi, welcome to Aerospace Pals tutorial on how to do DO160 indirect lighting simulation using LT Spice. If you need to find the link, go to aerospacepal.com and under Members Content, go to DO160 Toolbox. In the toolbox, you'll see a DO160 indirect lightning LT Spice simulation example. Once you click on that, you can download the LT Spice simulation directly with this direct download link. Read the instructions below or just watch this video. Once you've downloaded the link, you want to zoom into the upper left corner where you'll see this example circuit. Here we're looking at an example circuit of a discrete 28 volt open input. When 28 volts is applied, you'll see the current going through this optocoupler change in the state of the output. When it's open, then there will be no current flowing and the output will go down to ground. Here we want to see what happens when we inject different lighting waveforms on this circuit. Uh, right now we're set up for waveform 3 at 1500 volts and 25 ohm source impedance. Here I've probed the actual transient generator before it goes through its source impedance. And when I probe the input pins, we can see that the signal is vastly reduced. That's because the, the equivalent series resistance of these filter caps compared to 25 ohms of the transient generator, these filter caps are much lower. So the actual signal seen by the pins only gets to about 160 volts. If we want to try different waveforms, we simply click on the waveform. And if we want to try waveform 5A, we just change it to waveform 5A. It's all pre-built into the tool. I know waveform 5A has a level 4 VOC of 750 volts with a series resistance of 1 ohm, or the VOC divided by the ISC, the short circuit current. Here, if we simulate waveform 5A, we can see that the pin injection level, the level that we see right on the pins, gets about to 750 volts. We look, can look at the clamping voltage of the TVS at about 37 volts, and we can also hold down our cursor and drag across R1 to see the voltage across the resistor. Uh, another thing to do is to look at the power dissipation by holding Alt and then clicking on the resistor and also clicking on the TVS. In this case, we can see with this high series impedance, most of the power is dropped across the resistor. You can change the TVS by right clicking on the TVS and changing to any of the preloaded values uh, in this spreadsheet. Uh, for instance, you can go to an SMCJ33A and press OK and rerun the simulation. Here you can see all the preloaded TVSs. Uh, these are all organized by different families. Uh, here's the SMAJ family, uh, the SMBJ family, CJ, and so on and so forth. Likewise, we have all the D160 waveforms from waveform 5B, 5A, 4, 2, uh, waveform 3 at 1 megahertz, and waveform 3 at 10 megahertz. So, all of it's pre-built into the tool. All you have to do is put your example circuit here and then just adjust the waveform and your level based on the requirements you have. Likewise, the TVSs, uh, there's hundreds of them. So all you have to do is right click on this TVS and then adjust it to whatever TVS you're using. And that's it. That's a quick link or a quick um, tutorial on how to use Aerospace Tech Pals pre-built simulation tool for D160 indirect lightning. You'll find all the links to the available content directly below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.